I'm Dan Schwer, one of the owners and founders of the company, which we started in 1974 here in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, the factory really is a mixture of everything from 17th century glass making processes to 21st century electronic controls. But the basic forming of the glass is done the way it was done hundreds of years ago by simply ladling a gobble glass onto a rolling mill and rolling it into a sheet. So that hand individual attention is what really makes our glass what it is. It's not machine made, it's handcrafted. I'm Larissa Palminteri. I work with the production administrative team as one of the people formulating the glass here at Bullseye. On the daily, my primary focus here at Bullseye is to adjust all of the glass recipes so that we have compatibility and fusibility as it goes into our tanks. We start with our basic recipes and then we manipulate them day to day depending on how the glass is working in each individual furnace. From start to finish, it has our eyes on it and sometimes you have to just go with your gut feeling. So it is a constant give and take and ebb and flow of the glass depending on how it's dealing that day and which unit we have it in. They all kind of have their own personalities. They all act differently, even if they're perfectly tuned in the same way. My name is Steve Lechleiter. I am supervisor of the batch department. The machine behind me is called an octopus and we put barrels underneath it and it has all these arms that feed into the barrel. And on a daily basis, we're given batch tickets that coincide with the styles of glass. And then we precisely measure each one of the ingredients into a barrel, get the final weight, do a double check, and then we take it over, we mix and hydrate the barrel for two hours before it is delivered to the melt department. Uh, my name is Tim Risch. I'm the melting supervisor at Bullseye Glass. Uh, we get the batch material that's delivered to us from the batch room in barrels and 55 gallon drums. Then we transfer it into the furnaces. And we turn it from the raw materials, the sand, and make the glass. I'm very proud of that. From the first amount of batch material going in to when the casters remove it from the furnace is roughly, you know, it's between 14 and 16 hours. We have a whole procedure for stirring the glass, preparing the glass, making sure the glass is the right color, is the right fusibility. Uh, my name's Todd Beatty. I'm, here, I'm the swing sift cast supervisor out here on the hot end where all the magic happens. What you can see by, behind me with Miles, he's casting the sheets. So we're, we are, we're taking that sheet from the furnace, flipping it up to the table, and that's, uh, that's how it all starts. But our standard shovel weighs about 20 pounds with 10 pounds of glass. It's pretty amazing that these guys can use it like a violinist bow. It's one sheet at a time. Yeah, one ladle at a time. Um, after we're done forming it, reheating it, spraying it, rolling it, flipping it, casting it, it goes into our annealing layer, which allows it to, to cool very slowly, very evenly. My name is Charlie Tellison. Uh, I'm currently the quality control supervisor. So today we're averaging about 900 sheets. Uh, we'll be trimming them to spec and grading each sheet one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. All the glass that we receive in QC is delivered to us from the casting department through a annealing layer. It slowly anneals from 1300 down to 300 degrees over 35 minutes. Yeah, there's a lot of differences between the sheets in a run-to-run -run basis, just because all of our sheets are handmade, hand-formed. So within the quality control department, after the glass has been graded and set aside, we'll hold it here in QC for 24 hours while we review and perform all the fuse compatibility tests on it. I am Steve Melvin. I'm the shipping manager here at Bullseye Glass. I also oversee the warehouse, the finished goods. We will take the glass from quality control and stock it into our general warehouse and then we put it into a crate or a box, put it onto a truck, and off it goes to all over the world. Obviously, we pack them really well. As far as breakage goes, we don't experience much in our shipping. Uh, a lot of that is due to the fact that we spend a lot of time, effort, and money up front to make a nice crate. Our shipping department here at Bullseye will ship out on average anywhere from eight to 10,000 pounds of glass and accessory products a day. We ship our glass all over the world, all over North America, Europe, South America, 
Africa, Asia, Australia. It's hard to think of somewhere we haven't shipped. I am Dijonair Frazier. This is the candy store for adults. You see people walk in the door and their eyes just light up. We're here to help you figure out what it is you want so that we can put that, that resource right in front of you. I right, say you want to create some dark black clouds or a beautiful moon, we'll find the glass or even Fred and we'll give you the choices that you can have to create what it is you see. Mm, how many bullseye factories are there? There is only one true bullseye factory and that is located here in Portland, Oregon. There is only one bullseye factory right here in Portland, Oregon. There's only one bullseye factory and that's right here in Portland, Oregon. One team of people making this great glass.